find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to show you an example of using this inexpensive Chinese Gorillapod as a shoulder rig. Uh, this is a um, Gorillapod that costs about uh, 20 something dollars and makes for a really lovely shoulder rig for lightweight cameras. And uh, so something like this, this is an NEX6 with a Fujian 35mm f1.7 lens, which by the way is really lovely for the price. And I'll have a link to that below. And this works well with something like a GH2 or maybe the lightweight Canons, but uh, the heavier you go, the less effective this rig is going to be, especially for long periods of time. Uh, now I'm shaking it a little bit right now, but I will do a full uh, stabilization test in a second, both uh, looking at it through the viewfinder like this and looking at it uh, on the screen. Um, now this is something that uh, I think would make a really lovely addition to using um, to a kit that's really compact for travel. So you know I've got uh, I've got big rigs and stuff like that, but for travel, I really love to travel lightweight with my NEX camera and my little mini um, travel uh, tripod, which I talked about recently, which some people didn't like because it was too lightweight, but um, for me it works really great for some things. Um, not really for big shoots, but for some things I need to shoot, it's really lovely and um, fantastic not to have to carry a big kit around. So this folds down into about the same sort of size, about the same sort of weight, and would make a really great addition to that kit as a shoulder rig slash gorilla pod, although I've yet to strap this onto something except for, I think I've sort of wrapped it around um, a light stand. But uh, generally I just would use this as a shoulder rig or occasionally as a stand for lights and stuff. Uh, okay, so let's get to the stabilization test and I'll stop talking for that. And by the way, uh, you can really nicely also focus because it's so lightweight you don't need both hands uh, on the handles in order to uh, focus so um, it's quite nice okay Okay, so now if I position it like this and then aim the screen up at me, this is a little bit less stable but also works really nicely. So for those of you that don't have uh, a viewfinder on the camera then uh, this is quite nice. Okay, so hopefully that gave you a good idea of what this can do. I think it's a really lovely little piece of kit for the price and um, I really do like it. So hopefully you like this uh, recommendation and uh, I'll have links to this and everything else I spoke about below. If you have any questions, then ask me in the comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.